Since Fusion 360 came out a few years ago, I've been using it to draw parts for machining on my CNC mill. CNC lathe and 3D printer. Fusion 360 is a really great program and I am very grateful to Autodesk for making it available to hobby users free of charge. Nevertheless, there are several reasons why I am switching to another program. The online constraint has often cost me nerves when I urgently needed a part, but the Autodesk servers were down or my internet connection was unavailable. The planning uncertainty that important features disappear in the free version or even the complete possibility of use is restricted, as has often happened in the past. And the subscription price is simply too high for hobby users who only use it occasionally. The compulsion to use Windows. I have Linux in my workshop, and the family computer is also not suitable for Windows 11 due to Microsoft's unjustified hardware requirements. FreeCAD doesn't have any of these disadvantages, which is why I wanted to try it out. I haven't only heard good things about FreeCAD in the past, so I was curious to see how it would work. For my Stirling engine, I need electrodes to erode tantalum countermasses. This was an ideal first project for FreeCAD to create toolpaths for the CNC milling machine with Linux CNC using the Path Workbench. So I installed FreeCAD version 0.21.1 and was very surprised how easy the workflow was when designing with FreeCAD. Everything worked a similar to Fusion with a difference in the little things. While Fusion always suggested the simplest and most desired solution and everything worked very intuitively, FreeCAD did not help you here and everything had to be determined precisely yourself. There are a few stumbling blocks here, but with a little practice, they will certainly disappear quickly. For example, I sometimes find it a little difficult to recognize which dependencies are missing and what effects they might have. Also, the selection of surfaces from a sketch for further editing is not so intuitive and sometimes only possible with difficulty. But all in all, the construction part is very good and I was able to draw everything I wanted even if sometimes only via detours. So for me, FreeCAD is a fully-fledged replacement for fusion for design, technical drawings and 3D printing. And apart from a few minor points, I can recommend it without reservation. Next, I wanted to use the Path Workbench to generate the G-code for my CNC milling machine. This also worked surprisingly smoothly. And, apart from a few minor problems, I was able to create the required toolpaths very quickly. In some cases, I even found this clearer than in Fusion which is also due to the much smaller number of settings. For example, I had problems with the definition of the workpiece zero point. I don't know whether it's a bug or a feature or whether I'm simply doing it wrong. I also have to get used to a few peculiarities. For example, the adaptive job composes the curved paths from straight lines with G1, which of course has to be smoothed by an additional finishing pass with G2, G3. A G-code file must then be created from the jobs using the post processor. Here too, there is a very wide selection for many CNC controls. I need the post processor for Linux CNC. The output G-code now had to prove its suitability on the milling machine. When plunging into the workpiece with a helix, I selected the feed rate much too small. It's very slow. I'll pay more attention next time. 
I really like the adaptive job. You don't even notice that the circular arcs are made up of straight lines. I didn't pay attention to the milling direction when finishing the inside. The surface quality would have been a bit better if I had used a climb cut. In general, I could have used a more cut rate, but it was also my first attempt with FreeCAD, so I was a bit more careful. Overall, I am very satisfied with the Path Workbench for creating toolpaths. There aren't quite as many setting options as with Fusion, but everything you need is there. The only thing I really miss is the ability to create toolpaths for the lathe. The LibLathe workbench is still in the experimental alpha stage. When I have some time, I will try it out. Until then, I will continue to generate my turning parts with native cam or fusion. In conclusion, I can say that I am very positively surprised by FreeCAD. After playing around for two long afternoons, I am already quite familiar with FreeCAD and have produced my electrodes for eroding without any major problems. I will definitely continue to use FreeCAD. The many different workbenches still offer a lot of possibilities that I would like to try out. When the LibLathe workbench is finished, I can uninstall Fusion and have found a fully-fledged replacement for it in FreeCAD. Thanks for watching and as always I am very happy for any comments and suggestions.